Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. For our Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. For our Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little feet, where you go. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For our Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. And be careful, little eyes, what you see. And be careful, little eyes, what you see. For our Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. And be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For our Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Welcome to our Bible lesson today. My name is Teacher Susan from St. Barnabas Kotiende. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you this morning and we worship you. Thank you so much for being with us and for watching over us. And thank you also for helping us to be able to listen to your word today. So help us, Lord, to be attentive and to understand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, today we are learning a very interesting lesson. How to take care of all that God has given us. Or we should take care of everything that God has given us. Did you know that the toys you have, the parents you have, even friends, pets, even your body is a gift from God. And God wants us to take very good care of all that he has given us. So, why should you take care of what God has given you? Number one, to show God that you are very, very thankful for the blessings and the gifts that he has given you. You should take very good care of them. You remember last week we talked about talents. Yes, even the talents that you have, you are supposed to take care of them. Because if you don't take care of them, remember we said they can be taken away and given to somebody else. So to show that you are thankful, you take good care of what God has given you. And also it is a command from God that we should take care of what we have given he has given us because one day we will give an account like we'll give a report of what we did with what he gave us okay and then it also when we take good care of what god has given us then it is able to benefit us and other people People benefit, like if you have a good talent and you take good care of it, you will earn money from it and that money will help other people, like children who don't have school fees, like your parents when they are old. So when you take good care of what you have, then it will help you and it will help other people also to avoid problems. Oh, I did not mention even the environment, the trees, the rivers, the oceans that we have, they are gifts from God. And we are supposed to take good care of them. If we don't take care of like the environment, if we don't take good care of your environment, guess what happens? There will be drought because we have cut down the trees. And then people will die because of hunger and there will be like floods because there are no trees to control the water. So when we take good care of our environment, we avoid problems of nature, okay? Because some, sometimes mother nature gets angry 
Mother Nature is not happy when we destroy what God has made. Okay? Then, how do we take care of all that God has given us? Because children, God has given us so, so much. There are so many things. You know, like when we start mentioning the trees, the pets, the bodies we have, the parents we have, the environment, so, so, even toys that you have, even your room. Your bedroom, that's a gift from God. Can you imagine? Do you ever thank God for all that? So, how, how do we take good care of all this? Number one is, like for the environment, we are supposed to plant trees and flowers and make sure we water them. All right? And not to cut trees down. You know, don't just cut trees like that. If you see an adult cutting a tree, you tell them, if you cut that tree, please plant two more. Okay? And then, um, we are supposed to respect our parents. Remember, the Bible commands us to honor our parents so that it may go well with us and so that we can live long in this land. So, we are supposed to respect our parents and love your friends. All the friends that you have, make sure you treat them with respect and you love them and also love your parents, okay? Of course, you love your parents, right? Then also, we are supposed to take good care of our bodies. Clean your body. Uh, shave your hair if it is too long for boys, for girls. Make sure it is neatly plated and combed nicely and take a shower, wear clean clothes. That's how we take good care of our bodies and also make sure nobody gives you anything that is not good for your body. No drugs, no drugs at all, okay? That's how we take good care of our bodies. Don't put anything in your body that is dangerous. And also food, eat healthy food. Avoid as much as you can eating junk. Don't eat bad food that will damage your bodies, all right? And just be clean. Make your room neat. Make your bed. Clean your shoes and brush those that need to be brushed. Arrange your closet. Make sure everything is neat wherever you are. Now, I want us to look at our memory verse, Genesis chapter 2, verse which verse? Verse 15. This is what it says. The Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. The Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. So, Adam and Eve were put in the garden of Eden as we have been put in the environment that we have to take care of it and to work it so wherever you are if you have a pet make sure you take very good care of that pet because it was created by God your body take very good care of your body because it is created by God the environment take good care of it so everything that God has given us, we are supposed to take care of it and to work it. Okay? Now let us sing, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The little bird that flies out there in the trees and sings, even your pet, if you have one, even the trees and the rivers, they are all wonderfully and fearfully made by God. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. I'm going to stand up like a soldier. I raise my hand. I surrender. I'm going to sing a song. And then I do like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and so is everyone else and everything else that God made and God expects us to take very good care of everything he made because one day 
we will give an account to God. We will give a report of how we did with everything that God gave us. Okay? So, that's the end of our lesson for today. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for all that you have given us. And we pray that you help us to take very good care of all that we have. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, that's the end of our lesson for today. Uh, if you have offering, it is good to give to God. So you can either give through the phone, very easy, your, your parents can help you, or you can also come to church and give to God, okay, so that God's work can continue to be done and so that we can continue to take care of all that God has given us. Remember, even the church is a gift from God. Even um, our, our preachers, our curate, our vicar, Everyone that we have is a blessing from God. So when we support by giving, then we are also helping to take care of all that God has given us. So thank you, children. Bye for now. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.